What's up everyone, Tyler from the MX Factory. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to wheelie like a professional in four easy steps. And make sure you stick it around to the end. And throughout this video, we got drills for you to implement these things that we teach you. Let's get it. All right, so the first step, very important, is gonna be where to sit on the bike and the overall body position on the bike. So the first things first is we're gonna start down on our feet. We want to be in the arch of our foot with the toe hovering the back brake. And you'll learn later on in this video why that's very important. And then from there, you want to draw a 90 degree angle, your lower leg and your upper leg. And then you want to be just probably, I'm a little shorter, so I've got to kind of lean into it to have a little bend in my arms. But if you can be back here with a little bend in your arms, the more upright, the more weight that's towards that back tire, the better. So I'm going to have just a little bend in my arms so I can maneuver the bike with the hips and make sure that I'm steering it underneath me. So that's going to be your overall body position. You just want to make sure you're covering the back brake. You've got a little bit of pressure in your knees so you can feel what the bike's doing and then you want as much weight back as possible. So we're gonna sit pretty far back on the seat. All right, so step number two is gonna be the load and pop. So we're gonna load the suspension, pop the clutch with a little bit of throttle added. I think this is gonna work a little better if it's a visual while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna ride through and go over the load and pop as I'm riding. I'm gonna roll in, brake, pop. Okay, and when we pop, guys, when we pop, we just want a little bit of RPMs match with a clutch release. So it's whoop. All right, I'll do it one more time for you, for you to see it. Okay, this is gonna be fairly important to get dialed in. Okay. Okay, slow, slow, slow. And a quick drill you guys can do along with the load and pop is load and pop and see how far you can coast, right? So have those moments where you load, pop, get it up high enough and just see if you can get a wheelie without any clutch throttle or brake at all. Just let the bike coast. That'll let you know that you're inside that balance zone. All right, so step number three is gonna be working your controls while in the wheelie. And this may take a little while to get there, but you wanna be able to use your clutch, your throttle, and your brake simultaneously while in the balance point. Okay, so you use your throttle to pick the front tire up into the balance point if it starts to fall out. You use your clutch and your brake to get it to fall back down into the balance point if it's too high. Again, this takes a little time to get the feel for it, and I have a special drill for you to be able to do that on flat ground. It's gonna be just setting two cones up and going as slow as possible in between the cones, using your hips to balance left and right, using your clutch throttle and brake to go forward. So you're gonna to go to set up two cones and then just go as slow as you can, right? Moving the bike left and right to balance, right? This is, this is the same thing that you're doing while in the wheelie. You're adjusting the bike just like this, right? So if you wanna get the feel to be able to use your clutch throttle and brake all at the same time, this is how you do it. Okay, so step number four is gonna be where most people have the issue with the wheelie, is once they wheelie, they fall out of balance. So they fall left or right. How you wanna think about doing this is if you were going on a straight line on the ground and you started to fall left or right, you would steer back under and go that direction to get the bike to stand back upright. It's no different in a wheelie. If the bike's starting to fall to your right, you wanna move the hips to the left to get the bike to steer under and go straight again and then back to the other direction. And it's gonna be little micro movements on the slow wheelie the whole time. Again, we're doing a slow wheelie in first gear here, so these little micro movements are gonna to have to happen in order for you to stay in balance. So make sure that you're adjusting the bike to whatever the way the bike's wanting to lean, and that'll get the back tire to steer back underneath you and get you going straight again. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that and you're wheeling stronger than ever. Make sure you click up here to watch another video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know what you want in our next video. Peace, guys.